Welcome back everyone, it's on Tap Your Go, and today we're playing Selesnia Landfall in Standard. So what we're trying to do is to put as many permanents into play that benefit from the landfall trigger happening, and then find as many lands as possible. So we have Fearless Fledgling, gets counters and flying, Lotus Cobra generates mana, Root Grazer allows us to replay lands and to play additional lands from our hand, Whirling Regrowth to find basics at instant speed, Scoot Swarm to make insect tokens and then eventually copies of itself, Territorial Scythe Cat to put counters on it and it has Trample, Kasanu Mammoth to get plus two plus two and is also a creature is also a land itself. Photo retreat to make two twos and to pass one one counters on all of our creatures and give them vigilance. A few copies of Yasharn to be able to find some basics and to also have that extra ability against sacrifice decks and things like that. And then Ancient Green Warning to double up on all of our landfall triggers. And then we have a few copies of Conclave Mentor in this deck because a lot of our creatures get counters from the landfall happening, so we want to like double up on that and maximize on it as well as being able to put counters on this and then when it dies we can gain some life if that matters and we have a copy of the ozolith at the bottom to be able to again since we're passing counters around to be able to just stack some counters on this and occasionally pass them around our creatures especially the ones with trample like the territorial scythe cat or the fearless fledgling to be able to get flying in the air and then we have a copy of chain web arachnir and this is specifically against the mill deck and it's just nice to be able to have something to play out of our graveyard and the mana base is just a bunch of basics, a, cop a couple copies of the pathway, and four copies of Fable Passage. And that's the deck. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to try it out. And if you like it, please consider leaving a like and comment, subscribing the bell, and let's take this into some games. Okay, we're on the play, and this hand's a little bit slow, but I do like being able to just have all these lands, so I'm going to keep it anyway. So I'm going to risk it. I hope that I draw a third land. Otherwise I get punished for not playing Fable Passage for first. Never punished. <laughs> I'm telling you, never punished. I'm going to play the Territorial Scythe Cat first. Just because I don't want to run out the Scoot Swarm into a Shock or something. Especially since I don't have the sixth land in play to make it worthwhile. Rodha is kind of annoying. I will play Scoot Swarm first. It's a no attacks. Garrick's Uprising. Nice. So our opponent's got an engine. Hmm. I'm honestly just going to take this. Let's grab our white source. Another scythe, ca another scythe cat's not bad. I'm going to sacrifice the white. Double. Okay, Rampart Smasher is pretty cool. I'll just take the three again. Conclave Mentor is pretty good. Sacrifice a forest here. Grab two of them. I'll just attack for 10. I'm gonna smash her. And then my opponent scoops. <laughs> Good game. We are on the draw, and this hand seems pretty good, so I'm gonna try it out. Probably gonna have to play the Mammoth as our land drop. Which I'm okay with. I might start with that, depending on where our first draw is. Perfect. So I'll play the Mammoth. And turn two, I could be greedy and try to go for the Lotus Cobra and then have a turn three retreat. 
That doesn't seem bad either. Yep, so I think we go with the Lotus Kerber first. Hmm. Well, that was to be expected. I'll play the Root Grazer. I'll pass. Put a mix of foods. Goose Worm's a good draw. But I think for now we slam this. Let's put a basic land. Well, that's fine. I'll just pass. Well, Urian's good. Glass Casket doesn't hit the retreat, though. Oh, that's another food. Deal with this. Great hinge is good. Yeah, Tony gains the life. I'm gonna make my whole team pretty strong. Play the ancient green warden. This is pretty much gonna shut the game out. <laughs> this is uh, we have an army here. And I'm, I'm giving my opponent props for for letting me go through with this. Is there a fog effect? No, all right, cool. <laughs> Good game. We are on the play, and our hand seems pretty decent, so I'm going to try it out. Double mentor is pretty nice with the scythe cat. All right, so I'll start off with the green side of the pathway and play the Rachnir and pass. All right, Kum Hellhound for our opponents. Our opponent is playing lands of their own. I might as well attack. Right, bone Crusher for our opponent. It's pretty good. Play the other mentor. And I'll just. I'll attack for one and hold up the priority with the Fable Passage. No. Okay, we're going to place a Bone Crusher. Take two. Grab ourselves another green source. Cool, Fable Passage is a great draw. So we're just going to pass. Sure, Carry the Celebrant's good. Cargan Intimidator is pretty good too. I'll actually hold up the Field Passage. Mm, I'll add it for the white.
No, it's not worth it. Still not worth attacking. Well, I'll go ahead and put these counters on it now then. Grab another green source. If this was only a rolling regrowth, <laughs> that'd be pretty sweet. Our opponent still has a potential Ember Cleave. Okay, scratch that. Still no attacks from our opponent. Okay, the Scythe Cat. Could have played the Green Warden. I'll do next turn. I'm just going to keep growing out my cats. Annex is good. That makes the Embercleave setup a lot scarier. Mammoth is cool. Keep up on the defense, and if they can't kill our Green Warden, then our field passages are about to go off. Trying to sign off the defenses. Elder's cover isn't terrible, but not necessary. Play the map. And we might as well play the Cobra. We're just going to keep passing. <laughs> Still no attacks. So I'm going to return a forest so we can get an additional landfall next turn. Keep holding up the passage. Ruin regrowth is nuts. We're getting an insane amount of counters this turn. Thirty one triggers. Game opponent with a perfect 20. Did we we <laughs> kept the 20? Hey everyone, welcome back to the wrap up. Today we went 3 0, and the deck is pretty explosive as you can tell. The, the creatures get pretty large pretty quickly, and we have so many different things that become massive threats between Fellow to Retreat, the Mammoth, the, even the Rook Razor was putting in a bunch of work that game. And I didn't get to see the Ozolith, unfortunately. And we didn't even go up against Mill today, but I'm I'm positive the Chain Web Arachnir is is quite effective there. And uh, so anyway, that's the deck. I hope everyone enjoyed it. And if you did, again, please consider checking out that link and trying it out and do all the YouTube stuff. And thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you next time.